tell us that the Trinity is the foundation of Christianity. So then the greatest Catholic of all time would be the one person who coined the word Trinity, and that is Theophilus of Antioch, a second century apostolic father. He was one of the five men who gave us the Logos Christology, and he is the one that coined the word Trinity in the second century in 180 AD. Not only was Theophilus of Antioch one of the very first anti-Nicene fathers who really coined the Trinity word, but he also taught that the Trinity was a great mystery. The Logos among the Apostolic Fathers and Antonician Fathers was known as the begotten God or God the Word. Theophilus wrote, but his word through whom he made all things being his power and his wisdom assuming the person of the Father and Lord of all went to the garden in the person of God and conversed with Adam. We find in the writings of the Antinicene Fathers, Volume 2, page 101, where Theophilus writes, In like manner also, the three days which were before the luminaries are types of the Trinity of God and His Word and His wisdom. We will find the same teaching in a first century Jewish Greek philosopher by the name of Philo of Alexandria. Genesis 126 says, Then God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness. This is what Theophilus wrote about this verse. But to no one else than to his own word and wisdom did he say, Let us make man. This is page 101 of volume 2 of the Antinician Fathers. Theophilus of Antioch writes about John 1, 1, where it says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He wrote, The word then being God and being naturally produced from God, whenever the Father of the universe wills, he sends him to any place. Page 103, Volume 2 of the Antinicene Fathers. Now listen to another of the Antinicene Fathers, Irenaeus, as he confirms the teachings of Theophilus, which also came from Philo. I have also largely demonstrated that the Word, namely the Son, was always with the Father, and that wisdom also, which is the Spirit, was present with Him anterior to all creation. You know, Trinitarians are quick to say that the most important doctrine in Christianity is the doctrine of the Trinity. But I find it very uh, suspicious that Trinitarians do not mention or teach that Theophilus of Antioch was the first to coin the word Trinity. And why is this? My question to Trinitarians is, why is it that you don't want to talk about Theophilus of Antioch and mention that he was the first one to coin the word Trinity or to teach us the concept of the Trinity, which he took from Philo, God, Word, and Wisdom, which became the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This is a transition uh, of the Trinity. It started with the concept that Philo gave and the Apostolic Fathers took it and they applied it to the Gospel. And they applied it, as you could see in, in this video, to different verses like Genesis 1.26, like John 1.1, 1, 1, and so forth. And they, and they, they took those verses and they, they applied the philosophical Logos of Philo, which was a pre-existing Logos. Uh, because it was the lower was connected with wisdom and Proverbs 8 tells us that wisdom was with God from the beginning from even before the foundation of the world so this is how they made the son to be pre-existent by using the logos wisdom of Philo of Alexandria and it became God the begotten God or God the word this is how they taught or and how they teach even today that the son is pre-existent but anyway, again, my question is, why are they so hush-hush about Theophilus of Antioch? Shouldn't they be uh, hailing him as a hero, as a powerful apostolic father who was very wise and gave them the Trinity? Why is it that they don't do that? 
Could it be because once you study Theophilus, you find out that he was connected to Philo of Alexandria? Could that, could that be the reason?